Aloha and welcome to week six. This week you will write your rough draft for the second essay, which is a literary analysis essay in response to the short story, The Sky is Gray. I want to point out that in your rough draft, you need to include either a direct quote or a paraphrase from one of these articles listed below. So you can just click on the link and it will pull up the article. And this is in week six lesson. Next, I wanna take a minute to talk about the rough draft assignment. I created another template for you to use for this assignment. So just like with the first rough draft for essay number one, you'll replace the information as appropriate. Here, you'll put your own title and in the introduction, make sure that you do mention the short story title, The Sky is Gray, and the author, Ernest Gaines. In the supporting paragraphs, you need to be sure to include at least one direct quote or paraphrase from the story itself for each major supporting idea. So that's not necessarily for each paragraph, but for each major supporting point you're making to support your thesis statement. You will need to include an in-text citation using MLA 8th edition for your direct quote or your paraphrase. And I have more information in week six lesson about how to do that. In your conclusion, the same ideas apply as in your first essay in terms of not just restating your thesis and major points, but leaving something more impactful and meaningful as a last impression for your audience. And then you're going to want to scroll down to the next page for the work cited. The work cited page should always be on a new page. I made some notes here that you can read. And then I gave you some examples to show how to set up a book, or I should say a short story from an anthology and a book, which is where I found the short story, The Sky is Gray. So I explain the format for that type of entry here, followed by the format for an entry from a journal article accessed through a database. This is for your secondary source for The Sky is Gray. It's one of those PDF articles that I have linked to week six lesson. And then I actually plugged that information in for you so you can see what it looks like. So for a piece from an anthology, we have the author's last name, comma, the author's first name. If there's a middle initial, include that and then period. And then in quotation marks, we have the title of the short story, The Sky is Gray. In italics, the title of the anthology or the book, which is Bloodline, comma, First Vintage Contemporaries Edition, that's the publisher, comma, 1997, that's the year the book was published, comma, and then the pages that the short story appear in the book, 83 through 117 period. So this is an example of an entry for a work out of an anthology. Below I have one of the secondary source articles from week six lesson as an example. So again, this is an entry for a journal article accessed through a database. I used one of the databases in the Mo'okini Library, which you will, you will learn more about in detail in next week's lesson in week seven. For this entry, I have the author's last name, comma, the author's first name, middle initial period, the title of the article in quotation marks. And I just noticed because I copy and pasted this from the Mookini Library's database that this did not carry over in the correct format. So this should be in italics. That's the title of the journal. Then we have the volume, the number, the publication date, the pages that this article appears in this journal. The database is JSTOR. 
the URL for the database is here, and then you need to enter the date that you accessed the article. So for this paper, please feel free to use this exactly as it appears because we're all reading the same short story. And this is a model. If you end up using this article, then you can leave this as is. If not, then you can follow this format for the other journal articles that I have linked in week six's lesson. And for the Works Cited page, you can go ahead and delete my notes from here where it says note down to this is what the entry should look like for a Works Cited page to there. You can go ahead and delete that information and just have your entries listed right under Works Cited. I just added the notes for more information for you. And quickly, just to show you, this is where I found the most of the articles in JSTOR that I have linked to week six's lesson. This is the one that I used as an example in the template, the Works Cited template. So what you can do for most of the information sources that you find in the library. There's a citation tool that you can click on. Then you can choose the format. Again, of course, we use MLA and copy and paste that. But as I did note, you can see here that Black American Literature Forum is italicized. But when I copy copied this and pasted it into my Works Cited page, my Google document, this didn't carry over. So you just have to be sure that everything is appropriate and carries over and that's why I included information about how to properly set up those different sources. If you have any questions about any of the information that I've gone over this week, please let me know and have a wonderful week. Mahalo.